Racing for Matthew. People in Florida, Georgia, and the Carolinas are leaving their homes and heading inland as this deadly hurricane moves north. And it tops Local 4 News tonight at 11. Good to have you with us. Do not mess around with this storm. That is the clear message being sent tonight to people living in the southeast. That's right. Hurricane Matthew has already proven deadly, has now prompted emergency declarations and evacuations. Let's get over to Ben to show us why. Ben? Yeah, we knew this was going to be the biggest storm in decades in Florida. The only question remains where in Florida is it going to hit? The 11 o'clock numbers are in. This is the latest advisory on Hurricane Matthew. The status of the strength of the storm is unchanged. 115 miles an hour. The track is also virtually unchanged uh, by 8 o'clock on Thursday. This is still going to be offshore, but notice it has it strengthening to a category four storm and then moving closer to about the space coast of Florida. Likely if this does make landfall, according to the Hurricane Center, it's going to be closer to Daytona Beach, somewhere between Titusville and Daytona. And then finally sort of paralleling the coast as it arcs its way back into the Atlantic, staying as a major hurricane until Saturday night. So that's got everybody I guess uh, from Florida to the Carolinas bracing for the worst. And right now all the preparations are coming to a close as NBC's Dan Sheneman shows us what's going on with more than one and a half million people in Florida being told to leave. Along the southeast coast, it's time to pack up and get out. The smartest thing to do is border up and then pray. 12 million people could be in the path of Hurricane Matthew. In Florida, this could be the biggest evacuation in state history. Governor Rick Scott issued a dire warning. This can kill you and we cannot save you. People along the coast filling up their tanks, but fuel can be hard to find. A state of emergency declared in Florida, Georgia and the Carolinas. In South Carolina, both lanes of freeway traffic now flow inland. My plan is to head to Columbia and uh, stay with a coworker and wait out the storm and hopefully come back and uh, be glad that I left. Millions of people are now racing to get out of the storm's path while Matthew moves closer and closer to land. Dan Shanneman, Local 4. So obviously going to bear watching right now at clickondetroit.com where you get the chance to watch the local coverage of Hurricane Matthew as it approaches. Uh, that's a live stream from our sister station in Jacksonville, Florida. You'll find that right there on our homepage.